Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video in our How My Computer Works series. My name is Matt Bauer and this week I'll be showing you some tips for using Microsoft Word. Now these tips mainly apply to Word 2007, so if you have Word 2003 or earlier, the steps may vary slightly. This video will show you some useful features of Microsoft Word. Undo and Redo It may seem pretty basic, but the undo and redo functions are still very useful in Microsoft Word. As you may know, you can undo the last action you performed by clicking this arrow here, or by hitting Control z on your keyboard. To redo the last function, click this arrow, or hit Control y on your keyboard. Thesaurus if you ever find yourself looking for a different way to say something while writing an article, story, or business letter, Microsoft Word has a built-in thesaurus function and it's really easy to use. Simply right-click the word you want to replace, go to Synonyms, and click the word of your choice. Auto Recover Many people don't know that there is an Auto Recover feature until they are prompted to use it. Basically, the Auto Recover feature saves your work automatically every few minutes, and if the program quits unexpectedly or if a power outage occurs, the Auto Recover feature gives you the option to restore the latest auto-saved version of the document you were working on. The Auto Save feature is enabled by default but you can actually change the time period between autosaves. To do this, just click the office icon on the top left, then click Word Options at the bottom of the panel, click the Save section, make sure this box is checked, and adjust this number to the amount of desired minutes between autosaves. Obviously, the lower the number, the more often your document will be autosaved. Text formatting when pasting. You may notice that when you copy and paste text from a web page or other source into Microsoft Word, the text formatting is usually not the same as the rest of your document. Well, when you paste the text, there is a little icon that appears right after it. If you click the icon, you get a few options. If you want the text to maintain its formatting, like bold, underlined, or italics, you can click Match Destination Formatting. If you want to remove all formatting of the pasted text, just click Keep Text Only. After pasting, though, make sure you click the Paste Options icon before you change anything else, or it will disappear. Default File Format In all versions prior to Word 2007, the default file format, or file extension, was .doc. However, in Word 2007, Microsoft created a new file format called .docx, which allowed for certain functionality in the 2007 version. Unfortunately, this created a problem with some users of Word 2003 or earlier in that they could not open these new files without some sort of converter program. Well, if you have Word 2007 or the upcoming Word 2010, you can choose to save your documents by default in .doc format to prevent any compatibility issues with an earlier version of Word. To do this, click the Office button, Go to Word Options toward the bottom right of the panel. Again, click the Save section. Then click this drop down box and select Word 97 to 2003 doc, which should be the third one down. Then click OK. Now, when you go to save any new document, it will default to .doc format.
I'll show you a few more Microsoft Word features in a future video, but if you have any training ideas or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. So go ahead and send an email to training at mycomputerworks.com or just post them in the comments section below. You can also subscribe to our My Computer Works YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above any one of our YouTube videos. You can even find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the More Info section just below this video. If you have a computer question, you can get free answers right on our blog by going to blog.mycomputerworks.com. If you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like more information about our services, you can go ahead and give us a call at the number you see below or just visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.